Welcome to a Transformers video review. And, oh wait, no, let me get that bag out of the way. We will talk about those in my next video. We're going to talk about this guy right here. Oh, well, that'll work. Transformers R.I.D. Uh, Transformers Prime R.I.D. Soundwave. And there he is in his package with, yes, laser beak included. And, however, this is the little treat I was talking about due to the fact that um, a good buddy of mine um, actually waived the charges for this because he um, sent me two. So, there is, we're going hands free for a second because my phone. And there is his bi uh, um, bio, I believe. And he's um, Series 104. Fourth one in Series 1. Oh. Huh. Which I do think looks really good for the box. And there's his tech specs. If I can get it with a glare. And I have one right here. Now, Soundwave is actually a really, really cool figure. Um, it does sort of, um, doesn't really scream, oh, let me zoom back out a little bit here, it doesn't really scream Soundwave to me, I mean, yes, Soundwave of the show, but it doesn't really scream that much of Soundwave to me, because Soundwave doesn't speak, one. Two, um, Soundwave also, um, was a telecommunications sort of character. Yeah, that's his character, but this mode doesn't scream recording device-y type thing. It, it does scream stealth, gathering information, flying, you know, drone from the military, which isn't half bad. Um, he does have derpy arm issues, but then again, eh, can't really complain too much. However, this gimmick is awesome. Bring down these wings here, and just give it a little tug via that nub right there. Bring this guy out here. He is his head. He's got one hell of a turkey giblet going on down there. But, anyways, you can also plug him in in vehicle mode up top, according to the pictures. I think that looks stupid. Well, for transformation, we're going to pull out the tabs that use the little sliding mechanism for the hip sliding thing quite nicely. It actually uses that part for the locking mechanism. Ingenious? Yes. This point where I've pivoted the arms, or the wings back, and then you can fold out these panels. And you have these holes and fingers here. Come back here, take this entire cockpit, well, not cockpit, but the brain center, pull that apart there, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this panel here, this whole nose panel, and rotate it. What was it? Rotate it all the way back. Yeah, there we go. All the way back that way. Then with this panel and this, which gives him this sort of round heel spur that's still hard to stand on this guy. And then... His legs are designed to be chicken-legged. Like that. That is his legs. Oh, except for you can shift down the kneecaps like that. And now we've got the legs taken care of. And we bring back this panel here. And the head springs forward. Interesting enough, he's got this divot in his chin right here. So when you put him down, his connects to the butt of Soundwave, or to laser beak, really? Huh. Bring it up a little bit. Oop. Instead of smashing him with the engine in the back of his head. Fold down the engine itself, clicking it into position. And then bring down the arms, or the shoulder panels, to the arms. Disconnect up here, the tab, 
and from the hole. And there you go. You have shock or yeah, the sound waves arms. He has this foldy pivot thing going on here. So he does have these really long, god awful forearms, but hey, it worked for him. And again, in his chest, if we bring down this here, you've got, and then pull this off, which is pretty cool. This has been Transformers Prime RID Soundwave and Laser Beak and Thrumble. And have yourselves a great one.